for bringing us here one more time. Yes, Lord. One more time in the presence of your beauty, dear Father God. Oh, God, you are majestic in all of your ways, dear Father God. We love you. We adore you, dear Father God. Your works, dear Father God, your mind, dear Father God, who you are as the living and divine King yes, Jesus, dear Father God. Hallelujah. Oh God, the, that the mouth, dear Father God, the tongue, dear Father God, the hearts and minds say, Jesus, we give you glory. Give you glory. We give you glory right here at this present moment, dear Father God. Oh God, oh God, we love you, we adore you, dear Father God. Thank you, Jesus Christ, the Father God. I ask God to bless our, the pastors, the Father God, the elders here, the Father God, and everybody in the sanctuary, in the congregation, the Father God, so we can be able to continue, Lord God, to, to live in one accord, the Father God, as though you are just getting closer and closer to your departure, the, you're getting closer and closer to your to your coming, the Father God, and also our departure from this world, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, we love you, the Father. Yes, Lord. We thank you. We glorify you. In Jesus' name, as I pray. Amen. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Amen. We honor the Lord tonight. But it's another opportunity to be here to worship Him and to celebrate another year. Amen. You know, sometimes the going is tough, but we just have to stand fast and Clear that our Lord is our Savior and our King. Yes. Praise God, praise God, praise God. So we're going to um, ask our, we call him our international suit to declare this anniversary conference open. So God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Come on, let's praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. The Lord. Tonight, we are here to worship the Lord. Amen. 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 To give Him thanks. Hallelujah. To magnify Him. Oh, Amen. yes. And to glorify Him. Amen. Amen. I'm sure we didn't come here just to see someone else. Oh. Amen. Amen. I'm sure we didn't come for the ride. No. Alone. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But we, we came to do what? To worship. To worship. Worship. Amen. Uh, this might not working. I know somebody said that when you go to the club, mm -hmm. you know why you're there. Yes. Yes. Nobody tell you to dance. Mm -hmm. Nobody tell you to drink. Mm -hmm. You know what to do. Yeah. Amen. 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 When you go to the restaurant, nobody tells you what to do. You know what to do, right? Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 When you come to church. What to do? He come to do what? Worship. Worship. Amen. Praise God. And so Amen. tonight we are here to worship the Lord. Praise Amen. God. Praise God. And as we start our anniversary services and uh, crusade, praise God. We know that the God that we serve he is here. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Remember this you know, that God fills the universe. Oh, yes. yes. So, so you know, we don't only wait on God to come. That's right. When yes. we came here, He was yes. here yes. from the beginning of That's creation. Right. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. So, He's here. Hallelujah. So all we got to do is it's to do what? Worship. Let me ask one more person. What did blind Bartimaeus do? <laughs> Huh? He, shouts. Huh? he heard that yes. Jesus, Jesus, was Jesus was passing by. Yes. Right. Yes. And he cried what out. What did he do? He said, okay. He, he, no, he, he cried out. out. He cried out. He cried out. He kept quiet and opened that no, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. he cried out. What did he do? He cried out. He said, he Jesus, son of David. Oh, son of David. Son of David. Yes. Yes. Whatever your needs are, 
The Lord knows, but He's not going to come until you yes. right. mm. get His attention. Amen. 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 So whatever it is, it is that you are here for, Amen. praise God. Praise we God. want you to do it right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are you here for? Praise, praise God. God. Hallelujah. 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 And so, it was great pleasure and privilege and uh, thankfulness. And uh, Bishop Morris asked me to do the opening. He should be the one doing it. <laughs> but praise God, we are thanking God that He has brought us here. Yes. Amen. And our sister Ains was. Give me the testimony of what took place um, with her daughter and grandchildren are traveling and the accident. Yes. She told me that the car crashed and the children were outside of yes, the car. That's right. And they are still alive. I yes. said, oh my God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. The children flew through the windshield. Yes. Can you, and the highway. Yes, Lord. Oh, Landed on the wow. ground, yes. small children, mm. and they are still alive today. Amen. Amen. What a mighty God. God. Yes. What a testimony. Amen. Amen. God. What a God. Yeah. Amen. 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 What a God. Hallelujah. 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 And many of us tonight, yes, if we were asked to come, we would have great testimonies yeah. of the oh, yes. goodness of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Has never lost a battle. No. Never. Amen. I said, He has never, never lost, lost a battle. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And He's not about to lose any. No. I said, Yes, Lord. And declare yes. the opening of the greatest Holy Ghost conference that ever been held in the world.
this song that we know this song. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody can sing this song. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. 
So this time, let's hear a reading of the scripture. And that's going to be best read by the farmer. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. If you have your Bible, let's turn to the book of Nehemiah chapter 1. Nehemiah. So you have Ezra, Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 1. If you don't have the Bible, then you have your phone. You can already find it there. And we'll be reading from verses 1 through to 11. And we're going to read together. Together. We're going to read. And if you are not sick, if you are not lame, if you are not holding a baby that needs to be cradled, I kindly and respectfully ask you to stand for the reading of God's word. Amen? Amen. 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 After two, we'll read. Have you found it? Amen. Nehemiah chapter one. Amen. Praise the Lord. And read as follows. Together. The words of Nehemiah, the son of Akaliah, and it came to pass in the month Shesu, in the twentieth year, as I was in the Shushan the palace, that Anani, one of my brethren, came, he and certain men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity concerning Jerusalem. And they said unto me, the remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are turned burned with fire. And it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days, and fasted, and prayed before the God of heaven, and said, I beseech thee, O Lord, God of heaven, the great and terrible God, that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him, and observe his commandments. Let thine ear now be attentive, and thine eyes open, that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now, day and night for the children of Israel thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee, both I and my fathers also have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against thee, and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments which thou commandest thy servant Moses. Remember, I beseech thee, the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But if you turn unto me, and keep my commandments, and do them, though they were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, yet will I gather them from thence. And you bring them unto a place that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are thy servants and thy people whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power and by the strong hand. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thy ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servants and to the prayer of thy servants, who desire to fear thy name and prosper. I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man, for I was the king's cupbearer. Amen? Amen? Thanks be to God. Reading of God's holy word. What am I to God? We serve. What am I to God? We Angels bow before 
for inviting me and my family, even though I'm the only one here. But not it's like my immediate family, not my extended family. Yes. I'm my extended. I don't want them to get mixed in me. <laughs> yes, I'm my extended family, plus my church family. But I give God thanks. I am happy, amen, to take a little break. Not to break from from worshiping the Lord, but to break from normal everyday life and to just worship with the things of God. It really means a lot for me. I just want to go all out, and I heard them saying that we'll be going on the road. I was saying, are we going on the road, Pastor? I'm ready to go on the road. Amen. 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 I give God thanks. I worship you, Lord. I thank you for your many blessings. I will turn off your goodness in the sanctuary. Amen. I will tell off your love. God has been so good to me. I just can't complain. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Um, we had this anniversary plan. And as I was, I was saying to myself, oh, I'm going to get to anniversary. I, I need work at 7 o'clock. What I'm going to do, I can go all the way to Bowie and then come back to um, Chevrolet. What I'm going to do, so I put in my thinking cap and say, God, please tell me what I'm going to do. So I know what it does. So I'm going to bring my clothes in my car, left it to work. Left, when I left work, I just come here and get put on my clothes. Amen. But as I'm saying, I am determined to hold on to the end. I go to dance. 
I go to everywhere at the age of 12 because my mother put a restriction on me. Mm. I know everything that was bad. Mm. Everything bad, mm. good, and different. But God but said, God. Amen. But God. Amen. But God. As a young girl was singing, trying to ask us everything I ever needed, I found it, Lord, indeed. Yeah. Yes. And yes, I was, I cried, I cried, I said, Lord, if a young girl like this, find everything you, what am I doing out here? Mm -hmm. And I came back the Sunday night and I was baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. But the first one that's night to any tree was a youth because I got the Holy Ghost. Yes. God has kept me. God has kept me. God is a keeper. Yes. God is a deliverer. Look at me. I'm a miracle. God has been good to me. God bless you, Jesus. Jesus.
Enjoy the goodness of the Lord with us. Amen. And you know, guess what happened? We are looking forward to next year when Mother Payne will be a hundred years old. Hallelujah! Amen, amen. We are going to celebrate. Amen. amen. Praise God, praise God, praise God. We thank God for our sister Elaine Reynolds who came in with her nieces and nephews. Amen. 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 Praise God, Shahid and Monique. Amen. And Monique was going back to lovely cold Canada. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Bless you. We are so happy to have you with us. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Minister Hamilton has been with us. And we want those of you who will be back will be here to come next um, Thursday night to the teaching. We thank God for her. Amen. Sister Pauline Stedman, too, who came in. Hallelujah. And we all remember Sister Stedman. She's been with us. Praise God before. Amen. And all of us remember Sister um, Marlene. Back in. And I love the daughter. Praise yes. God. Thank you. Amen. In here with us. Amen. Any other visitor? We thank God for our musicians. God bless you. Hallelujah. Let's pray them through. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise, God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Now we have others that if I don't mention your name, you know, forgive me. <laughs> I, I'm at that stage. No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. So we're going to receive an offering at this time. We're going to ask our ushers, Sister Doreen Reed and Sister Jillian Reed to come. And we want you to give willingly and generously to the work of the Lord. Amen. I know you can go deep into those pockets. Amen. Oh. Praise God. We thank God for you. Amen. Because we want to hear what the Lord has in store for us tonight to be a servant. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. My Jesus rose. We want to say that for the offering. <laughs> and he the water And he made the way when there's no water And he the water Let's the offering What a mighty God we serve, Jesus. Heavenly Father, as we come tonight in your presence, Lord, giving you thanks, giving you honor, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Without you, Lord Jesus, this will not be possible, Lord Jesus, because of your grace and your mercy while we are here today, Lord Jesus. As we come before your presence, Lord Jesus, 
Bless who give Lord and bless who don't give Lord Jesus. As I say in your present mighty name of Jesus, Amen. 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 My Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus,
The heathen is not going to shout Diana like we can shout Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Diana hasn't done a thing for them. Oh, but Jesus. Hallelujah. Saved them. Call us some dead works. Hallelujah. And what are we doing today? Rejoicing. That's what we're going to do. Praise him. Hallelujah. And lift him up. Amen. Yes, Lord. And you know what? Amen. That's what we're doing in church. Because that's what expected of us. We're going to praise him wherever we go. Amen. The others will know. Hallelujah. And then we want to give a shout out, son. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God. So we're going to hear from the Lord through his servant. Um, we had a different agenda, <laughs> but God changed it. And you know what happened? Pastor Kelly was supposed to preach today. And he has been ill. And we didn't want him to exert himself. Tell the truth. <laughs> My wife said, don't you use that man. Don't you. <laughs> don't work him out. You know, we want to have him around. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And we just love him and we thank him for coming. Amen. Amen to be with us. Amen. He comes with us twice a year and we just love it. We enjoy his fellowship and... We give God thanks for him. Amen. Amen. He's been so instrumental in Amen. helping us here at Bula. Amen. Amen. So, Evangelist Richards. We call her uh, one of our foundation members. You know, she's been teaching Sunday school on Zoom for us. Amen. She's one of those, like Sister Hamilton, I always say that anything happens. My wife is going to say, call Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she put her way to the say, what would you have to say about this? <laughs> you know, those are good friends. You yeah. always call them. What's happening? Can you just give me some advice on this thing? And we love that. We thank God for her. Amen. And we want to just pray her through. Amen. Lord has already given her the word. So at this time, brothers and sisters, Everyone in the house, if you can stand, we're going to stand to receive Evangelist Abby Richards. Amen. 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 Just minister to us. Hallelujah. In the blessed Amen. name of Jesus. Escorted by the one and only. Praise God. Sean. Yes. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. This chorus came up in my mind, so I hope you guys know it as well. I am a testimony. I did not come here on my own. That's the Lord. Do you know it? No. Did I know it? We can learn it. I hope I can remember it. I'm trying to remember it. I am a testimony. I did not come here. On my own, it is Jesus who gave me this testimony. I don't remember it. It's gone. That's what happens to old age. And I'm of age now. I might look young, but I'm of age. I am. I'm of age. So we'll just find another one. Oh, yes. Just want to tell you that I'm thankful.
everything on Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Our Redeemer. Our Savior. Hallelujah. Our High Priest. Yes, Lord. And our Advocate. Yes. yes. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So look beyond yes. yourself to that. Oh, yes. And look on the cross. Hallelujah. And I sing this song with gratitude. Yes. Yes. Let it all say. my step. I am Amen. too old now. Yes. I have now reached 74 years old. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm stepping up. <laughs> stepping up. I'm stepping up. So therefore, Pastor Marcy is saying he's 77. You're 77? Yes. This year. Okay. I can't, I can't catch you, but I'm getting there. Yeah. So uh, sometimes you, you, you get to the place where you you, you, you get to understand that you don't take chances yes. where God's work is concerned. Yes. You make Amen. sure that he directs you. Yes. So even though I knew for a few months, I struggled even to get a word from him. Yes. And I'm here before you tonight because he directed it. Yes. And he allowed me to be yes. here. Yes. I want each one of you to understand that God did not gather us here just for us to be here. Amen. This is ordained before the foundation of the world. Before the Lord spoke the earth into being, he already had it in his blueprint that this would have happened tonight. And that you, everybody who is present in this room should be here. Amen. Because man will be without excuse That's when right. he comes. Right. Oh, yes. And whatever he has to give you tonight, just take it. Yes. Yes. He, 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 he is concerned about us. Yes. 
Yes, yes Lord. He's checking around and see what's going oh, on yes. in the world. We are in the age of deception. That's right. We are in the age of wickedness. Yes. We are in the age of lawlessness. Yes. All the things that are beyond what we could ever imagine is now happening. Oh, yes. He told us that just as to how it was in the time of Noah, mm. we only read it. But it says, just as how it was in Noah's time, that is how it's going to be before he comes. And just as how it was in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, mm. the same things are going to be happening on the earth. Amen. So when you see and hear some of the things that are happening, don't, don't be, be frightened. Don't. don't be surprised. Don't even bother to repeat them be. over and over and use it to, to measure you. That's not for you. That's right. That's right. This, 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 this was told beforehand Amen. that these things will happen. Right. And what we should do? Look up. Amen. Because our redemption right. draweth now. And looking up does not mean that we just look up to the no. sky. Mm. Prepare. He says, watch. Yes. Be ready. Yeah. Make sure your garments are clean. That's right. Oh yes, hallelujah. Make sure that you are ready to meet me. Amen. Because sin cannot go where he is. He does not tolerate sin. That's right. He hallelujah. does not tolerate uncleanness. That's right. No. So it is a warning when we look out and hear about the things that are happening. Seeing how people behave. Seeing how the world operates. We need to become conscious of our, in ourselves yes. that I am not of the world. Yes. I am only passing right, through. Right. Amen. This world is not my, my, my home. home. That's my home. That's right. That's right. Just I am a pilgrim Passing and I'm going back to eternity. Amen. And I want everybody to know we are all going back to eternity. Amen. But some going back to be with the Lord. Yes. And some with the devil. Amen. Until, unless we make a choice. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. But if we live our lives just to please ourselves. <laughs> then we are in trouble. So I'd love all of us tonight to understand. That whatever the Lord gives us. Today. It is for our betterment, our improvement, whether it causes us to cry or it causes us to laugh. Mm. He's more concerned about us more than we are concerned about ourselves. Amen. Did you know that? Of course. God is more concerned yes. about us more than how we are concerned about That's ourselves. <laughs> Even though we are born again, some of us are born again, Holy Ghost filled persons. We are in an age where that is what happens. And as I listened to one of the songs, pray this chorus, that the, the song that the choir sang, praise him, lift him up, exalt his name forever. There ought to be a joy deep down on the inside yes. that motivates us to sing with such fervor, yes. such Hallelujah. excitement, Hallelujah. such joy Thank you, Lord. that when we sing it, it moves others. That's right. Amen. Did you know that when the presence of the Lord is, it is not ordinary? No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. So Wherever the presence of the Lord is, it is not ordinary. Something happens in that atmosphere. Amen. And when we think of what the Word of God says, it says, Where two or three, or three are gathered together Amen. in His name, touching anything concerning Him, He is in the middle, yes. the midst yes. Yes. of us to bless. Amen. So, those of us who are here tonight for blessings, Turn up your pocket. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you will say, you know. Amen. But my mouth is open. I have handed myself over to him. Hallelujah. That he will just talk as Amen. it pleases him because right. you belong to him. Right. Amen. I also. So I'm getting from it as well. Amen. The scripture that is selected for tonight is Nehemiah 1. 
and verse 3. And the topic is rebuilding the walls. Yes. Rebuilding the walls. Let's go over to Nehemiah chapter 1. And I'll just read a few verses. You may remain seated. The words of ne Nehemiah, the son of Hashileah, and it came to pass in the month of Chislu, in the 20th year, as I was in Shushan, the palace, that Hananiah, one of my brothers, came, he and certain men from Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning, concerning Jerusalem. And they said unto me, the remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and, and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down, and the gates thereof are burnt with fire. Mm. And it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. And, and I and said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. Let thine ear now be attentive, and thine eyes open, that thou mayest hear the prayer, Shama, of thy servant, yeah. which I pray before thee now, yes, day and night, for the children of Israel, thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee, both I and my father's house have sinned. Let us stand to pray. Pastor Kelly, please leave. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Hallelujah. Lord, we honor you. Your words are fixed, cannot be changed. Lord, your speakers stand Mm. Lord, to proclaim your words, yes. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus, in your name, Lord, that you'll use her, my God, to speak to us, and that we will be submissive, submissive. Lord, to your words. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless her, we pray right now. Bless her now, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. As, as, as I, you may be seated. As I listened, as I read and listened to the voice of God, I start, started searching to get information from Him. Yes. Yes, you already got. Because without his direction and his words, his guidance, we are wasting time. Some months ago, I woke up out of my sleep and heard me repeating, man shall not live by bread alone, but by the word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. It broke me up in pieces. For weeks, I had that in my spirit. It was first mentioned in Deuteronomy. And then the Lord, when he was in the, in the wilderness, yes. when he was tempted, yes. he repeated that to the enemy of his soul. And that has done something to my mind. And we have to be very careful the things we do as the people of God. Because we are living in a time where it's, it seems very normal to do some things. Very normal. Nothing is wrong with it because that's what everybody's doing around us. 
things have changed. I am concerned about the apostolic faith. I'm con concerned about our people. That bothers my spirit. Yeah. Troubles me. I cry so often before God about it. Mm. Uh, I am concerned, very concerned, because we are not improving Jesus. as we ought to. Amen. Our walls have broken, been broken. Mm -hmm. The materials have crumbled. Jesus. We are just in a state of Mm, apathy. Mm. Apathy. We tell ourselves that we are okay mm. when we are not really okay. Because it's the nature of humans to hide the things within Amen. and not share it. Because of the lack of trust yes. and the lack of confidence that one has in these days, we can't trust our own. Sure. We carry too many burdens. Yeah. I didn't come to say this. Speak. Yeah. We carry too much burdens on the inside. And that has helped to break the walls of righteousness yes. and holiness. Hallelujah. Love and compassion. Yes. And we tell ourselves that we are okay. Yes. And God is crying out in many different ways. Puts us in different situations. For us to see, to check within us. What is happening. So Ezra, Nehemiah and Esther are three historical books. They have the story of the way out of captivity, yes. back to God. Some of us have been captured by wrong behavior, wrong attitudes. And we fail to recognize that that is what is happening. Yeah. The book of Ezra begins with building of the temple. Yes. That is the restoration of the house of God. That's supposed to be the first thing that we take care of. Where is the house of God? Yeah. Who is the house of God? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. We are. Yeah. We are the house of God. So the book of Ezra gives full information about restoring the house of God. That's right. But because of how we have not been analyzing the word by the power of the Holy Ghost, we have not been able to see some of these things. It seems simple. One thing that I love about Ezra, Ezra says, I told the king that oh, my God will take me from where I am to where I need to be. Now, if I go back now that I'm by the river and I fear because of the enemy, if I go back to the king, I call to let ask him for a, a, a military group to come with me. What is he going to say about my king? Yeah. My king, right. the king of heaven. Right. I told him about my king. That's right. That's right. That's right. I let him know he's more powerful than him. That's right. That's right. In a nice way. Right. Not how we do it, you know, because we're very abrupt. <laughs> but he did it in a cute way. Yeah. He says, I cannot go back to him and say, Give me military help because I am now afraid of the enemies on the other side of the river. Right. So, what did he do? He went before God. Yes. And he says to God, no God, I have gold. I have a lot of money with me. You need to protect me that I pass over 
on the other side without any problems. Did God do it? Yes, Amen. he did. Yes. Yes. God answers her. He does. Yes. God takes care of his people. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. God looks out for the people of God. Amen. He's not like man. He's not like your brother or your friend who will let you down in a minute. That's right. He's not like that. He takes care. He preserves. He protects. Amen. Yes. And so he got through. He went over on the other side. Then comes the building of the walls. As is seen in the book of Nehemiah. Filling the need for security. And strength. Yes. So the building of the wall. Or the rebuilding of the wall. Is for our security. And for strength. Yes. Do we need strength? Oh, yes. yes. Do we need protection? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. The book of Esther comes as the revelation of purpose. Mm. Oh, yes. In the life of an individual. Yes. How do we analyze that? Esther was positioned in the palace mm -hmm. at the time right. when the Jews, the nation, the covenanted people yes. needed it most. Amen. 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 Because there was an undermining thing going on. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Yes. And God on. positioned her mm -hmm. and she fulfilled her purpose. Right. Amen. Perish, I perish. <laughs> so the book of Nehemiah falls into two divisions. The first six chapters deal with reconstruction. The other seven deals with the instruction for people or the people of God, the covenanted people. So what does a wall symbolize? A wall symbolizes strength, protection, defense, security. In ancient times, they had massive walls That's right. that were built to provide protection and security to the people inside. Babylon has a very massive, in history it is told that the, the, the walls were, how many, were very, very thick. Yeah. They were wide. Yeah. Vehicles drive up there. Yeah. Chariots, race, yeah. Chariots race up there. Yeah. Houses were built there yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. That the heart that was living near there. Yes. Amen. Come on. Yes. So, the topic that the Lord has given us tonight is no pian pian topic here. It's not a simple topic. Rebuilding the walls. I can personalize that as a rebuilding my wall. Rebuilding my wall. Rebuilding my wall. And it goes further. And my gates. Not only my wall. But my gates also. Ah, oh, blessed Jesus. Yes, Lord. So, Nehemiah asked his brother and the men that came with him from Jerusalem. What is happening over in Jerusalem? How are the brethren doing? And they gave a report that the people were in distress, man. Yeah, they, good they were in great affliction. Yeah. And they were a reproach. They were a reproach. Because the walls were broken down and the gates were burned. This motivated him to do something. He sought God. Yes. What do we do when we hear bad news about others? Oh, what do we do when we look 
and see others are not as strong as they used to be. What do we do when we see sadness and unhappiness in the lives of our brethren? How do we treat them? What do we say? How do we act where they are concerned? Nehemiah set an example. When he heard, he was sorrowful. Uh -huh. Yes. He was unhappy. Oh, yes. And he went in to the great master of the soul. Mm. So that a remedy yes. could be filled. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> you know the common thing that we have sometimes is that when we hear or see, we tend to speak and act neg neg negatively. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. know that was going to happen to her. We know that was going to happen to him. Has you seen me remember? Yes. I remember such and such. So I'm not expecting better. My Lord. Mm. Brethren, yeah. brethren, yes, we have to be extremely careful what we speak, yes. how we speak, yes. the words we utter about our brethren, yes. and for all my years in Pentecost, you know, I have heard the same type of thing being repeated. We are not kind. We are not compassionate. We do not love. We do not take care of. All because of our own weakness as an individual. So guess what? Nehemiah sought God. He prayed and he fasted and he mourned for a number of days. And then he said to God, we have sinned. Yes. My family has sinned. Yes. My bloodline has sinned. Israel, your servants, they have sinned. We have done contrary to what you want us to do. Lord, but show us mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Show us mercy. And then he said, I am going before this man, verse 11, which is the king that was reigning. I'm going to him. I want to have favor with this because he had a plan in his mind. Now, when we pray, when we seek God with the right motive, God responds with wisdom. Yes, Amen. 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 Oh, right motive. If our motives are right, yes. wisdom will come. Amen. Wisdom will speak. Yes. Amen. Wisdom will give us a plan. Amen. Amen. So we need to make sure that we conform to the things that are eternal. No wonder the Bible tells us in Romans 12 that we should offer our bodies as living Amen. sacrifices, holy and acceptable, being not conformed to this world, yes. but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. When the mind is renewed, ah, glory to God, then we start thinking right. So when we hear negative news, we are able to go to God and say, God, this is it. This is it, Lord. Because when Sanballat started and Tobia, Tobiah, yeah. what he did was to go to God. Amen. Yeah. Because wisdom comes from God. Oh, and yeah. wisdom is God. Yeah. Mm. So the only words that can be given to him are words that are good. That's right. That's right. That is going to build the 
take your time. Praise God. The walls back. Hallelujah. And the gates back. Amen. It is proper proportion. Yes. Yeah. Below our wall is Jesus. He did not argue with anybody. He did not. So God gave hope and strength to Nehemiah to rebuild the walls around Jerusalem and to reestablish his people. God gave him a solution. Yes. After he prayed and he, the king gave him permission, he left. He took his men with him. He took a military group with him. Yes. Not that he didn't believe God, yes. but it was necessary. Yes. Yes. God gave him that wisdom. That's right. Ezra never asked for any. Because yes. he never needed that. Yes. God wanted to prove himself a different way. Right. And there again, sometimes we fall into a category where we think because God made it yellow yesterday, it must be yellow today. No, no, no. Not so. Not so. No. Come on. Not so. Come on. Praise the Lord. Right. So he asked for military help and he needed that. Right. He got it and he went over to Jerusalem. When he got there, I'm going to talk a little about the story until the Lord released what he has to release. Amen. He went there, he called the elders together, talked with them a little but never gave them the information. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that he got up yeah. in the night. 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 Come on, sister. Without yeah. telling anybody Hallelujah. anything. Come on. Yes. And he traveled around Hallelujah. and observed the wall. Yes. Looked at the game. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Seeking out what to do. Hallelujah. He kept it secret. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. What about us? Come on. When there is a situation. God help us. How do we deal with it? Does Mary Jane, Mary Jane help you? No. Can she do anything for you? No. God. Can John Brown help you? No. Go to God, the master of no. the architect. Hallelujah. That's what Nehemiah did. Hallelujah. He knew God to be yes. the architect. Oh. He knew him to be the master builder. Yes. Yes. He knew him to be the protector. Hallelujah. So he got up in secret. Yes, Lord. And he went and listened for the voice of God. Yes. So that wisdom directed him what to do. Yes, yes. Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Mm. Obviously, when he prayed, Hallelujah. God whispered something in him. Prayer works. Jesus. Don't even say a word to anybody. Right. I remember once, you know, maybe, maybe over 20 odd years ago, something was released to me and I heard clear, as clear as can be. Don't tell that person. Mm. Don't tell that person. The person was close to me. Don't tell that person. Yes. I kept it for a day or two and then reversed it. Wow. And you know what happened? Trouble. 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 Anytime God tells you not to talk, don't, don't talk. talk. Don't talk. Just do what you're supposed to do. Yes. So that the wisdom of God can direct you. Yes. That's right. The Spirit of God can do what He has to do. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because you do not know the way. That's right. That's right. He's the one who knows. Amen. He knows tomorrow. He knows next year. Amen. He knows everything. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. And because we are limited in our understanding, we are limited in our behavior. And because he is unlimited, he says to you, don't speak. Oh, yes, Lord. Keep quiet. Hallelujah. But Nehemiah did it with love. So nobody got upset. Come on. So attitude is important. Apostolic brethren, attitude is important. Even when the heart is hurting, do it right. Do it right. Do it in love. Share it above. Do it in a willing heart. Yeah. Do it good so that the Spirit of God can t 
take up. Yes. Have an authority yes. to do his work. Yes. Amen. So Amen. God gave him a solution. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Mm. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Yes. What do we do when we find ourselves in situations where we think we can't cope with it? Jesus. Trouble yes. started in a short time. He knew God directed him to go there. Yes. But within a little time, oppositions come. Yes. Oppositions. But the oppositions that came, one of these guys was an Ammonite. When they went into Canaan, and the land was being divided. Yes. God told them, slay Everyone. all the Amorites, right. the Ammonites, the Hittites, the Canaanites, all the ites, yes. by God. <laughs> but they decided to hold back some yes. because they look good. Bravo. Come on. Bravo. They decided to hold back. So, what are you holding back? Yes, Lord Jesus said. Let go of everything. What are you holding back? What is in your life that is causing you not to let go and let God? Yeah. Oh. God have your way, Jesus. Yes, Lord. What is so sweet mm. on this side of life, this side of life. Mm. that you cannot give God all? Eto shama kama sa ala mo shan glory hallelujah everything that you see with your natural eyes are temporary everything that you have to deal with on this side of life is temporary the only thing that is permanent is the invisible yes. the things that pertain unto God. Yes. Hallelujah. God has made us a promise. Glory. God has told us yes. he, has, he has not hidden anything from us. Mm -hmm. He says if you obey me yes. this is what you will receive. Mm -hmm. He told the children of Israel the same thing. Mm -hmm. If you obey me and keep my laws yes. you'll be okay. But if you do not do it, then I'm going to scatter you to the different parts of the world. Have we seen that? Yes. 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 And millions of them have gotten killed. Yes. All because of disobedience yes. to the laws of God. Amen. For us today, we are told the same thing. Right. Nothing changes. Walk in my word. Yes. Live in the spirit. Yes. Do not walk in your flesh because your flesh goes back to the earth yeah. from whence it came. Right. But your spirit lives on. Amen. Oh, yes. And if I'm born again, if my spirit is born again by the power of God, I go to reign with Jesus Christ. Oh. That's why we sing that song. Oh. Amen. Just want to tell you yeah. that I am thankful. That you have redeemed me from sin. Hallelujah. Just want to tell you I'm that you have been keeping me strong Hallelujah. by the power of your word. Oh, yes, Lord. Just want to tell you that the joy of the Lord is the strength. Hallelujah. Just want to tell you, Lord, Hallelujah. that you have been faithful to me. Even when I am unfaithful. Faithful to me. Just want to tell you that your grace. Has kept me until today. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Oh, I have assurance that if I die, I go to be with you. Oh, hallelujah. If I stay until it uh, uh, until the rapture, I'll be caught up. I'll be changed. Yes. I'm caught up to be with you. Right. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Lord has told us all of that. Yes. Oh, he says, All you've got to do hallelujah. is live by the world. Oh, yes. Live by the word. So Nehemiah heard all of that. He knew all of that. 
He became concerned. He, be he made confession. And he committed himself yeah. to do the right thing. Mm. What does concern mean? I think I made it wrote it. Yes, definitions are here. Concern means troubled, worry, and anxiety. He became anxious about the situation that was taking place in Jerusalem. But the scripture tells us that be anxious for nothing. For nothing. That's for us, you know. Yes. Be anxious for nothing. Don't worry about nothing. Don't be troubled about nothing. But pray. Prayer with thanksgiving and supplications make your request known to me. Have we been talking to God? Have we really been talking to God as we ought to? All the anxieties and the worry. What am I going to do tomorrow? What am, how am I going to manage in this situation? And it blocks everything else out of the mind. Because worry takes precedence. Worry becomes my norm. Is that how God wants us to be? No. He says, come to me. Yes. In prayer. Yes. That's what Nehemiah did. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. He made confession. Yes. Which means he admitted his guilt. Have we searched ourselves? Or have we been searching ourselves? And saying to God, tell me where I'm wrong. Show me me as you see me. Oh, yes. I, was, I was taught that from a young Christian. Just tell me how you see me. Let me understand how you are assessing me. Yes. That test takes us into Revelation. Yes. It says, churches, I know your work. Right. I know your work. Some of one of you Ephesians, you have lost your first love. Mm -hmm. Philip, yeah, Philip, Philadelphia, I know you're doing good. Yes. And the little that is left, just keep on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm? Yeah. Laodicea, you look warm. Mm. Come on. Come on. Yeah. He knows us, you know. Yes. God knows us. Yes. God understands what we are going through. Yes. And all he's saying to us, come to me. Yes. And I will. Tell me about it. Confess the situation. Because we sin in word, in thought, and in deed. Some of the things we do is opposing to what God desires. Some of the words we speak are not what we should speak. Some of the actions we perform are not the actions we should perform. So every day we ought to analyze yes. what happens throughout the day. At the end of the day, to yes. say, am I okay? Yes. Deal with this, Lord. Yes. I have sinned and I've come short of your glory. Yes. Rebuilding the wall. Yes. Yes. Rebuilding the wall. Oh God. Because we need the protection and the security and the strength from the Almighty God. The Bible says the joy of the Lord it is my strength. strength. But when sin enters, there is no joy. That's right, that's right. There is shame. There is reproach. We feel undone. And we feel afraid to go before him. I want to tell you, don't be afraid. Go before the Almighty God and tell him about you. That you're yes. conscious of right. the other part yes. that he knows, he will deal with it. Yes. But we must be honest. Yes. Yes. Amen. Nehemiah was honest, he was true, he had a pure heart. Mm -hmm. 
So when he went before God, God would give him wisdom to deal with the matter. Yes. No wonder it says, if you lack wisdom, ask of God. Because he gives it liberally. Plentifully. He doesn't hold back. Never. Asha. Glory. He doesn't hold back. He loves us too much. Oh yes. And from the day we made a vow to him and covenanted with him, he has been keeping us. Praise God. Brethren, we have to remember, I always, it comes to my mind constantly, that God knew me before he spoke the word into being. Before he said to the sun, shine by day. Before he said to the firmament, separate from Before the stars came into being, God had me on his blueprint. Amen. Amen. That is enough to bring us to the place to understand how important we are in his sight. We are special to him. We are not ordinary people. So whatever we do, we need to do it to glorify God because God called us in for his glory, not for our glory. That is where the, that is where the mistake is. Because we're thinking about me. It's me. It is me. He has called us unto holiness. Unto his glory. Unto righteousness. He, he, he gives us these gifts. And he's upholding us by his power. We need to agree with God with our actions. We need to agree with God. So the actions that we perform should bring about a unifying force where God is concerned. Why are some of us so weak? Including me sometimes. Because we have failed to allow the word to build us. We cannot build the walls. I want us to know this. We cannot build the walls. Or rebuild the walls. It is God who does it. By our willingness to obey him. When we obey God, then things start happening in our lives. So the gates that we have to deal with, Jeremiah, Nehemiah spoke about the gates. Yes. The gates were broken down. This brings commitment. Yes. The brother had to be committed to doing what God called him to do. What is commitment? Being dedicated to a cause, to an activity, being obligated without restrictions, being responsible. Brethren of Beulah, King's Chapel, and wherever else to other churches that are here, how responsible are we to the, to, the, to, the, to the ministry that God has called us into? Our obligation is to the work of the ministry. Our duty Is to the work. Oh, yes. We should be loyal yes. and devoted yes. and faithful Jesus. to the ministry that we are called onto. Right. We are now in a time where we cannot tell ourselves that 
I said, we can't do nothing. A sister so-and-so and brother so-and-so. We have to get rid of all the cliques that we have in churches. Yes. And everybody needs to be involved. Yes. So that each person's ministry can be fulfilled. Yes. We are called unto commitment. We are called unto commitment. Now the gates. I never knew that when we read about the gates that they had some special meaning until recently. So we have the sheep gate. That gate leads into sacrifice. It's the gate where they take the lambs, the goats, for sacrifices to be offered. In the New Testament scriptures, it refer, refers to the Lamb of God. Right. And that is recorded in Acts 8 and verse 32. It refers to the cross. It refers to the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. That was the first gate mm. that was made. And one of the things about the, 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 the people at the time is that when Nehemiah exposed the plan, the people were willing, willing to work. And God gave them wisdom because of their willingness by teaching them to start building where their houses were. Right, 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 so right. every gate Hashem, was taken care of uh -huh. by those who lived nearby. Yes. Amen. 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 Yeah. And they worked with all their might. In the story of the gates, there's a line of obedience that travels to the end. In rebuilding the wall and the gates. So the sheep gate, which is representing the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ, also represents strength. Strength. Because the blood gives us strength. Do we know that chorus? The blood never lose its power. Never. And when we call upon the blood of Jesus, he does something special. The blood of Jesus takes care of everything. The fish gate. Mark chapter 1 and verse 17. Talks about Jesus saying to the, the Andrew and to Peter, I will make you fishers of men. So it's speaking of witnessing. In the New Testament era, what the word says about witnesses, we are called to be witnesses. We are called to be reconcilers. We are called to be ambassadors. Have we been doing that? Have we been occupied in the building of our wall and our gates? Have we been staying at the place where we ought to be and just build according as God says? Am I afraid to talk about my God at work, on the street, in the supermarket? How have we been establishing our God away from being in the assembly, in the church, when we come to sing and shout? Do you know that when you have 
exalted God on the street when they get into church, you can't keep quiet. Huh? There's a joy on the inside that causes you to praise and worship Hallelujah. God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Because you know what you have done out there. Come on. You know the life you're living out there. Amen. Because now the life sitting in church, you know, is the life behind everybody else. When nobody's around, where is the spiritual integrity that you have? How do I live? What example am I setting? What can my neighbors say about me? Yes. yes. What do they hear? What do they see? Yes. So the old gate. The next gate the scripture talks about is the old gate. It represents truth. Build. Uh, Let's build on truth. Oh, yes, Lord. Thy word is truth. Mm. That is found in John 17 and verse 17. I jot some down here. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So when Nehemiah prayed, I said, we have walked contrary to the laws of God. He's saying, at the old gate, sanctify us. Mm. Your word sanctifies us. Yeah. And your word brings truth in our hearts. In truth. In John 8, 31, 32, it says, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Free, free. How free are we tonight? Oh God. How free are we? God has called us unto liberty. Oh, yes. He has called us unto freedom. Yes. How happy. How joyful. Am I on the inside? What is going on in your thoughts right now? What is Jesus Christ saying? Not everything that is new is true, you know? Not everything that is new going on is true. You have to the Bible said, try the spirits. Many spirits are out there. Try the spirits and see if we have gone. As I said from the beginning, deception is on the earth. God has allowed it. Don't complain the way God allowed that. It has to be here so that we can prove ourselves to God, as it were. When the children, Joshua took over, When they went over into the promised land and they did not do what they should have done, God spoke and said, I am not taking away the Hittites, nor the Amorites, nor any of those heights. Let them stay in the land with you guys because I want you to prove to me if you love me and also for them to teach you to war or to fight. So some of the things that we that, that affect us and yeah. cause us to fail, yeah. God is allowing those same yeah. things to teach us yeah. to become yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. the persons that we ought to be Amen. in the kingdom of God. So we ought not to become not to become complacent yeah. and worry and say, look at me now. Look at How am I going to manage? Oh God! No, our God is able. Yes. He's able. He is the great I am. Oh yes. The very present help in the time, in time of me. Yes. God is all the trouble, and He's concerned about each one of us. Oh yes.
He did not come in this by chance. No. God planned it. Yes. Come on. Yes. Ah, glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God planned it for oh, you yes. and I to be the kingdom of God. Amen. Oh, yes. yes. At such a time as this. God. So we ought to become conscious of who we are dealing with. Oh, yes. The all-knowing God. The all-powerful God. Amen. The God that is present everywhere. Amen. And we are not ordinary people. Right. We are royalty. Amen. Oh yes. The King of Kings is our Father. Oh yes. The Lord of Lords, our God. Yes. The Creator of heaven and earth. Praise God. It's who we belong to. We are not just ordinary people. We are priests. We are peculiar people. Amen. That's why we can't behave like everybody else. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter if you think that you're too holy. That's not important. You're doing what you're supposed to do to please your God. Amen. Amen. Yes. And when God is pleased with you, it doesn't matter if they say something else. Come on! And Sam Bell's Carter, when yes. Tobias yes. Carter, and some of the other men, it didn't stop Nehemiah. That's right. We are doing our good work. We're not coming down. No. no. So why am I going to let down my car? Let down because somebody's saying something evil yes. or unkind about me. Yes. 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 The Bible says we must suffer. Yes. Has he suffered? Oh God. Thank That's God. what he says. They say that he was born under fornication. Come on. He didn't even know his father. <laughs> they thought he was a nobody. Oh my Lord. Because he came out of a family that was not highly recognized. Yes. He came out of a family and out of a place where what good comes out of Nazareth? Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. What God? Don't pay attention to those things, brethren. Oh, yeah. You are royalty. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. So walk like royalty. Yes. Talk yes. like royalty. Yes. Behave like one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank You're you. not ordinary. Come on. You're the daughter of a king. Come on. Hallelujah. The Praise son of a king. God. Thank you, Jesus. Preach, sister. You're not just an ordinary person. Speak, Holy Ghost. He refines you. Amen. He lifts you up to a higher Hallelujah. level. Hallelujah. Lift me up, Jesus. They cannot come up there come on. unless God lifts them. Oh, lift me up, Lord, and let me stand. Mm. Oh, praise God. Let me stand, Lord. Hallelujah. So learn to be who you are Amen. in Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Thank you, sister. God. The dumb gate. Mm. The rubbish gate. Mm. That's a place where all the things that are not needed, mm. that are worthless, what God. are thrown. Yes. Do you have a dumb gate? Or are you piling up? Jesus. There's a dung gate. You know, where we have to clean out. Yes, God. How else we start stinking? Yes. Mm. We start smelling. God help us. When we refuse to obey the words of God. When we refuse to follow the steps that God has led us. All of my steps in your word, God. All of my steps, oh, dear Lord. Lord. I will hide your word in my heart. Yes, that I will not yes, sin yes, against yes, you, God. Right. Hallelujah. When we are not doing all of that. Come on. Then stinking smell comes up. Come on, Lord. Lord, that sweet aroma comes up in us. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. So wash me, Lord. Oh, wash me, all of my Messiah. Hallelujah. Glory. Wash me, Lord. Cleanse me, Holy Ghost. That's what He's asking for. Hallelujah. I must be honest with myself. Yes, right. Me too. I must be like David. Yes. When the prophet came, come on, and said, "You are the man, yes. Jesus." 
He says, God, wash me. Yes. Wash me. I'm guilty. I sin against you. I've sinned so many times. Wash me. I need your sight. Wash me. Make me clean. Make me clean, oh. Lord. Give me his son. Oh, hey, Lord, Lord, that I will be Lord. 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 Purge me, Lord. Because we think we can do the things ourselves. Yeah. But we can. And we do not go to the Almighty God for help. I come to you now. But we need to remember that we are <clears throat> hidden in him. With Christ in God. Right, in God. Right, right. So we have to go through him. Yes. We have to go through him. Yes, Lord. Speak Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. No sin can go with Jesus. Yes. Yes. No sin. And we are getting to the time where the virgins are already walking to their place. Oh, Jesus. Five of the oil in their lungs. But five do not. Because they did not think it was necessary. Come on. Give me oil in my lamp, Lord. What word is in the Bible that is not necessary? Mm. Oh, Jesus. What clauses are there that you think is not important? Mm. Every word in the book is right. right. Everyone. And it is necessary oh, yes. for our lives. Amen. Wash me, Jesus. Cleanse me. Wash me, Lord. Oh, it is necessary. It is. Don't let your dung gate be put aside because of pride. Mm. And we do not use it to get rid of the smells that are coming from us. The hatred. The bitterness. The backbiting. The uncleanness. The lusting. The malice. All these fleshly desires that are in us that need to go, go through that gate. Put them out, God. Burnt and destroyed. Clean us That's why the Bible tells yes, us that we can mortify over the deeds of our body. Yes, God. Daily. Daily, Lord. Daily. Don't let them pile up. No, God. Cleanse Don't let them pile up. Daily. Because they smell. Yes. And the Jesus. smell is so, it's not the stinking. God, God. It's just the, the type of attitude and behavior that we have. Yeah. That shows up. Hold on. And we, we, we tend sometimes not to remember that the Holy Ghost is God. Yeah. Almighty yeah. living inside of you and me. Yeah, that's right. True. That's right. God is the one living inside of us. Yeah. So when we're wrong, God has shown you. He will show us. Yeah. Yeah. He'll show us. Use it up. The valley gate. Oh God. A place of humility. Mm. Ah, the see. valley gate. Mm. And we sing a chorus all the way, you know, that says, He leads me beside, beside the still, the still water. waters. Somewhere, Somewhere in, the valley. in the valley below. Drew me he aside. drew me aside to be tested and to be tried. Tested and tried. But the Lord, 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 He is for us. My soul. Hallelujah. 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 In the valley. Yeah. In the place of restoration. Come on, Shanda. Let us not cry when we get down in the valley. It's a good place. Yes. We always want to be on the mountain top. Shouting. Oh, but there are times when he sends us in the valley. Right. Right. Oh, where God. the tears flow. Come on. Yes. Understanding comes. Yes. Come Hallelujah. On. Victory is won. Oh. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. God and we come up stronger than when we went stronger. Thank you. Thank you. Psalm 23 Jesus. and 20 and 4 talks about oh, God. it. Yes, though I walk through the Joy valley of the, of the shadow, shadow of death. death. I fear no evil. Thou art with me. Thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff. Thy staff and thy rod comforts me. Comfort me, Jesus. Hallelujah. What causes me to do that? Oh, God. My obedience. Mm. 
Oh yes. the will of God. Yes. Hallelujah. My obedience yes. to the word of God. Oh God, hallelujah. In John 17, Amen. the Lord Jesus gave a picture mm. through prayer oh, yes. of what he did while he walked on earth. Yes. He said, I pray for them. Yes. Pray for them. I pray for them. Children. I don't pray for you to take them out. Oh, I pray for But that them. you will keep them. Yes, Lord. Keep them. Oh, keep them from the evil. Yeah, because good. them that you have given me, I lost none of them. No. Except the son of perdition. Oh, hallelujah. Ah, oh, glory. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. God. God. Is able. God. God is able. God. Then we go to the fountain gate. That's when we finished. Yes. John 4 and verse 14 refers to the Holy Ghost. But whosoever drinketh of this water that I shall give him never shall never thirst. Never. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Bring up, oh well. The fountain gates. Well of salvation. Holy Ghost. Yes. Bring up in us, Lord. The water of life. Yes. Yes, God. Nehemiah got that wisdom. Let the well of salvation. That you don't worry about anything. I am in charge. God yes, says. God. I am doing what I'm supposed to do. Spring up, oh well. It also teaches us. Teach me, Jesus. To be obedient yes, God, let me be to the word and the will of God. Yes. Come on. How can we change mm. some of the things that are happening to us? He says, by going to the water gate, mm. the word of God. Oh, oh yes. yes. Bring me there, Jesus. It never needs to be repaired, you know. Mm -mm. It was never broken down. Never. The scripture tells you that. The water gate never broken was down. never broken down. Amen. That gate was open Amen. and functioning. Mm. It represents the word of God. Right. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, that is found in 1 John. The, 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 the connection or the reference with it is 1 John 5. 1 John 5. Let me see if I find that if I wrote it down. First John 5. Like I didn't write that one. First John 5 talks about obedience. And obedience to the word of God. The word of God. Should have it though. First John 5 and verse 5. Can somebody find that? Oh, I have it. First John 5, 5. Who is he? That overcometh the world. But he that believeth yeah. that Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ is the Son of God. God. This and six, six is he, this is he that came by water and the blood. Even Jesus, even Jesus. Even Jesus Christ. Not by water only, but by water and the blood. And it is the spirit that beareth witness. Because the spirit is true. The intertwining of the word. Hallelujah. The intertwining of the word. Praise God. And that is what we need today. It's only the word that can save us. It was the word that brought us in. Yes. It is a word that is keeping us. Oh, yes. And it's the word that's going to present us. Oh yes. Unto Jesus Christ. Yes. So those of us who neglect the word. For the building up of our faith. And our war, yeah. we are going to be in trouble. Yeah. Because the enemy is definitely going to come in. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's why it is necessary to know. It's necessary to know. It's necessary for us to know that these things are important and I can't help it. But I, I am not a Excited person. That's the word you need to get the word in your spirit. Amen. Amen. Yes. 
so that you can live by it. Yes. Oh, yeah. It brings change in your behavior. Amen. Change in your heart, in your mind. Yes. The east gate yes. is the gate of hope. Mm. The, the, the gate of expectation. That is something that we lack. Because when we pray, sometimes we do not pray with expectation. Yes. The Bible says we must pray and believe. That's what Nehemiah did. Yes. He believed God. That's right. And he went about doing what he was supposed to yes. do. Yes. And because of that, you know that he finished the gate the and the wall in 52 days. Yes. Record time. Record time. When we have the favor of God and the knowledge of the word of God, Things fall in place. Yes. I am not going to say to you that there's no problem. Yes. Problems will come. That's right. Yes, there will be opposition. Because we have record there in the Bible. Yes, right. But we stand our ground and then everything falls in place. That's right. So we go to the, 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 the horse gate, the symbol of warfare. Mm. And Ephesians 6 talks about that. That's right. Mm. And in 2 Corinthians 10 and 4 talks about that. How do we deal with it? It says put on the old armor. Right. Yeah. That you may be able to stand. Right. When the evil day comes. Put on. And you're not the one putting it on. Right. It is God who puts on your warfare suit. Amen. Because it's the word. Yeah. Word. It is the word. Amen. It is the word. I shot myself with peace on my head. Um, I shot myself with the feet and the feet. We have the gospel of peace. Mm? Helmet of salvation. Breastplate of righteousness. Breastplate of righteousness. Helmet of mm? salvation. We have all of these pieces of, of, of garments right. that oh, yes. is of God. It's not ours. It's not ours. So 2 Corinthians says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. No. For the weapons of our warfare not are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imagination. Come on. Speak. And every high thing that exalted oh, itself, itself against the knowledge yes. of God. Oh. And Must bringing know. into captivity Come on. every Stop. thought to the obedience of Christ. Yes. And having a readiness, readiness. to revenge all disobedience. Not so. When your obedience yes. Come on. is fulfilled. Praise God. Are we walking in obedience? Jesus. Oh, yes. Are we walking in obedience? obedience. That is what God requires obedience. for the walls to be repaired. To be repaired. Walk in obedience, and I, God, will be. Amen. Amen. I, because you and I can't. That's right. That's right. That's right. It is the Spirit of God in us. That's right. When we have obeyed the Word of God, hallelujah, that He builds for us. Praise God. What we do is like filthy rats. Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. But when He is given the permission and the opportunity yes. to build he will. Yes. So Romans 6, 16 says, Knowing not that to whom you yield yourselves, mm. servants, mm. to obey, his servants ye are, mm. to whom you obey, yes. whether of sin unto death, mm. or of obedience unto yes. righteousness. Choose ye this day who you're serving. Yes. God be God, serve Ah, God Almighty. Yes. Choose yes. today. Yes. If you are going to yield your members to sin. Mm. Or are you going to be servants of righteousness? 
Come on. Unto life eternal. Lord Jesus. To hear his word, harden not your heart. From the very beginning of my talk, I made mention that we are living in a deceptive world. Right. Oh, yes. We are living in a wicked world. Oh, yes. We are living in a world that's in misery. The Lord Jesus Christ and his disciples said to him, tell us when would these things be? He says, I'll tell you something, I'll show you something. These things are going to happen in Matthew. I think it's 24, 26 or somewhere there. He says, when you see these things happening, wars, rumors of wars, when you see nations rising against nations, when you see evil become the forefront of everything on the land, Know that my coming is near. I am even at the door. Yeah. Mm. When we look into Israel and see what's taking place there, from the president mm -hmm. down, right. when we look in our country here, yes. from the president down, mm -hmm. and we see what's going on, right. when we walk on the streets, and we see how people operate. Mm -hmm. right. It tells us that there is a shift yes. that has taken place yes. in society. Amen. Yes. Men are lovers of, of themselves mm -hmm. more than God. Amen. When we look into the churches and see the operation mm -hmm. of some of our people, we come to realize that we are in the last days. Yes. History also has been showing us how near we are to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. When each one of us as individuals check back in our lives, 20 years ago, how oh, fervent we are. We were with praying, fasting, and seeking the Lord, and being Happy about the things of God and to see how it has dwindled. Yes. We know that the coming of the Lord is near and that the deceiver is at work. Yes. Brethren, our walls were broken down or have been broken down little by little because we neglect to do some things over time. God is saying to us tonight, look back, check yourselves, see where you have fallen, see where the weaknesses are, oh, Jesus. and start working Amen. on yourselves. Amen. Don't worry about your brother, yeah. worry about you first, right. then you can take care of your brother. When you get on the aircraft, yes. they say to you, you sit, buckle on, buckle yourself up. Oh, no. Then you take care of your infant or your child. Yeah. It's a process. Yeah. It's a process. Oh, yes. Brethren, we are in end times. Yes. Our days are closing out. Yes. And we need to be ready right. for the coming of the Lord. Repair your walls. Get into prayer and fasting. Make sure you tell God the truth. That's right, that's right. Don't hide anything from him. Yes. David says, he knows my down sitting yes. and my uprising. My uprising. God Before I think my thoughts, God knows them. Oh, yes. We cannot hide from him. We cannot, we cannot fool him. No. So let us do the right thing Amen. because God is not mocked. Not at all. God is not mocked. God bless you That's in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.
Somebody say praise the Lord. So we stand. This is an individual. I saw the cross. Keep my soul. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. This is not about your neighbor. This is not about your mother, your father, your wife, your children. It's about it. you and me, the individual. Rebuilding walls. And we know what our walls look like. I don't need to fix your wall. God fixes it. Lord, keep my soul from day to day.
come back tomorrow night and Saturday night and uh, Sunday.